Amsterdam acrylic paint. I did use it uh, previously with my graphite, but I'm going to use it today with just my three colors because I think they would look really good on the canvas. And so I'm just going to start uh, mixing. I'm going to mix one part paint, one part Floetrol. I really love how this blue comes out with the Floetrol. It lightens it up a little bit, but it's so gorgeous. The blue today that I'm going to be actually using is Phalo Persian Blue. And I'm going to make my painting a little different. It's not going to be a flip cup specifically, but I'm going to try different techniques within the color, make something a little different today. My second color was the violet red. The color that I'm using is Venetian Rose. I don't know what it is about these three colors. When I seen them, I wanted to try them all out together. I feel like they would really complement one another nicely. I'd love to hear what your guys' favorite colors are. I'm usually drawn to teals, white and gold. I know it's really popular right now, but I've always been drawn to that teal. As you can see the background with my beach <laughs> painted on there. I'm not gonna use any base coat besides this flow trowel that I have here. Um, I just, I didn't get any white and the colors that I have right now in the Amsterdam, I don't wanna mix. I wanna see how these three react to each other. The previous uh, video that we did with all of the four colors, turned out absolutely gorgeous. So I just wanna try it this way. So this one has a, the least amount of blue in it, so I'm doing more of that rose and pink color. And so I said I'm not gonna do a flip cup, and we're not. We are flipping the cup, but we're not just gonna lift it like we normally would to flip it, but I'm gonna bring it up to the top here. When I know that it's completely come to the bottom, then I'm just gonna slowly lift and drag. I am beyond impressed with the paints that I've used in this video and the last with the Amsterdam paints. Look at the amount of cells we're getting. It's incredible. I just can't believe it. And that's just using Floetrol. We don't have anything else. No water, no anything else. It's beyond incredible. That blue, although we didn't use a lot, it's pretty dominant, when, especially when it's mixing with that pink. Stretch this completely to the end. We're just gonna do a few different styles just to see how we can get um, the different colors and cells in here. It's not gonna be too much of a rhyme or reason but I just wanna be able to push this paint as much as I can and see what we can get out of it. I'm gonna come back this way so I can just cover this other edge. When you are doing this to not tilt your canvas too quickly, um, we just wanna make sure that we're going really nice and slow and see I'm even going a little too quick already. We wanna go nice and slow so we don't lose all of these cells. So I noticed you can get a lot of cells in this, I hope that they can get a little bigger. Either way, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out so far anyway. I'm just gonna bring the bin into this corner here. Now you might be thinking, oh, cause you put the flow trowel on the canvas, that's why you're getting more cells, but that's not actually true because the previous video that I did with the Amsterdam paint, I actually got more cells than I'm getting now and I didn't use that flow trowel as a base. Not only I only put that on there, smoothed it out just because I accidentally spilled some. And the next one, we're gonna try a little treat gourd in the corner here. Don't hesitate to comment below. Uh, if you follow me on Patreon, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. And all the items that you see here today, you can find on my, my Amazon store in the description below. A little amount will come to me at no additional cost to you. It helps me create these videos and get wonderful supplies to test out. Thanks so much. I hope you have a good day.